Tossing Grenades at Windmills Podcast. Welcome to the Tossing Grenades at Windmills Podcast. I'm Tom Ricks, slash Emmett Other, slash Rhombus Ticks, and today I will be reading some of my poetry from a poetizer app, which is social media for poetry. Both Cider Freak by Emmett Other. Both Cider Freak loves both sides the same thinks they're above it all, and that they are not to blame. But when one side sees you do this from your frothy ivory tower, you make all things possible for the darkness seeking power, terrorism and protests, all the same. Murder cop hobo jamborees and filming a murder cop, all the same. Zombies who eat flesh and people who flee them. Virus that gives you a stroke if you get it and people who wear masks, all the same. The monsters check from time to time to see if to see a go for more, and then you are you free a thumbs up and higher score when everything is nothing and nothing has no cause. Then the both cider freak is to blame. Twitter suspended me for pointing out this truth, but then Jack is a crypto carny who could sell a victim's tooth for precious fake Bitcoin gold that lets the inmates run the asylum. Twitter exists to cause mayhem and more, and death and blood and more. Modern Prophecy by Emmett Other. You will get a job. You are qualified as a candidate. You are trained as an interviewer. You are kinder than anyone I know. You deserve it for good karma. This completes your story. It is the perfect ending to the last three years. You worked for this. You have earned this. Those that are with you are more than those against you. Luck favors the prepared. And you have prepared with the largest army. I see it. I believe it. It shall be so. Gut Punch by Emmett Other A gut punch knocked me out for 15 hours. Some purveyor of cosmic power I am. Feels like a lie was told. Someone beat you who shouldn't have, and now you are still looking, and I am left to notice that the world is less magical than it was. Crack Suicide Squad by Emmett Other Ode to Twitter support. Mocking suicide is not cool. But if it could be cool, I'm sure your corporate committee design pablum would be the first of its kind to pierce the veil of the genre, inspiring an an entire new series of works, making fun of people who want to do nothing but stick a fork in their eye. Twitter, you're killing me here. Games Should Be Fun by Emmett Other Games should be fun, not committee evaluations of my performance, Not doctrinal dissertations on my backgrounds. Not walking around on eggshells because you're fifis like fascists. Not feeling like I have to mow the goddamn lawn once a week. Not to be an invisible man in a crowd cursed with unbreakable immortality. Not a reminder of every dark element of my past or shadows of things lost. Games can matter. Games can be tense. Game's story can have conflict, but it should stay a game. No one is paying me to do this, and if it isn't fun, what's the point? Defending Z by Emmett Other A little girl cries to the world that monsters are stealing her future because America got bored. Not defeated, not humiliated, bored. And the kingpin of infrastructure cares about nothing else. So, like a sloppy drunk pulled a little Dutch boy from the dawn knots of governments, and suddenly the real Republic of Gilead is stomping all over Afghanistan, the sloppy, sleepy czar sends even more troops to get our people out, and I see the poor girl and millions more like her, the dope rode off, without a second thought. And this dope isn't stopping the clown posse from rolling into town February 2025. I would start saving a ticket out if I were you. Sloppy, sleepy, supo, soupy, hobo in a soup ain't saving nobody. 
the presidency is not a tennis court by Emmett Other. When the hobo in a suit takes his most sacred duty, honoring our fallen soldiers seriously, it gives you hope. When the hobo in a suit weathers the false criticisms of terrorists, the monsters who started the war, trying to use it for their own ghoulish gain, and they utterly hilariously fail, it gives you hope. And then, and then, and then, and then you remember old Hobo Joe who rode the rails and ate beans from a can and stole chickens and a fine three-piece suit from a clothesline, clothesline was still a hobo, just a shuffling sidekick for a great man who was elected for lack of the great man. When a hobo in a suit says that Congress, that same do-nothing Congress who he rails at, that do-nothing Congress that defies Newton's law, a body at rest stays at rest, a body in motion rests too, where good ideas go to die. Hobo Joe says that Congress should restore the vote. Hobo Joe says that Congress should free women from Texas coat hangers. If you elect a pig to the White House, you get a coup. And apparently if you put a hobo in the White House, you get an afternoon nap. Return to New Bohemia. My car drove up in the middle of the night, back through the gates of my old home, king and queen buildings, sentinels to the perimeter. Miami is a city of magic and eternal sun, but Atlanta has literature and culture. It has ma a magic in the shadows, a feeling I have missed greatly. Old alliances and associations ringing to be restored. Renewed hope here on the front lines. Of the fight for civilization itself. Gone be the worry of Death Santis and his lickspittle Twitter support employee Max Nordau. Home to the new majority of hope. Peeling back mega terror one vote at a time. Atlanta is strong. Atlanta is free. Atlanta is still surrounded by red hats who want to drown her. And I am here to do my part. And nothing of value was lost by Emmett Other. Deleted my Facebook account and all my author and company pages. For good this time. Zuckerberg rhymes with fucker. And this half-baked android has made it his personal mission to ruin the world, break up families, end friendships, froth up the butt cream of the worst crop, a smorgasbord of lying violent tools hell-bent on exploring Hades to our reality, burning every stalk of decency and hope to the ground. The fountain of racism, rivers of ignorance, flowing like Niagara, ill-omened drowning and blinding the eyes of America, making the city on a hill a red-light district, as patriotism sells out like a cheap hooker for the highest arm salute of fascism. I want no part of it. This has been the Tossing Grenades at Windmills podcast. Buy my book, Have Name Will Travel, at Amazon and other markets. RedAnvilCreative.com contains all our podcasts. Copyright 2021. To fight the forces of evil!